In this video, I will be talking about consensus algorithms. Consensus algorithms are used to gain agreement between networks of nodes in distributed systems. A consensus algorithm must have these three following properties. Agreement, where every correct process must agree on the same value. Validity, the value agreed on, must have been proposed by another process. Termination, a value will eventually be decided by every correct process. Another important theorem for consensus algorithms is the CAP theorem. An algorithm cannot provide more than two of the three following properties. Consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. There are different types of failures that a consensus algorithm might have to deal with. Fail stop, network partition, fail recover, and Byzantine failure. Byzantine failure got its name from a computer science paper written in the 80s where the Byzantine generals problem is described. The problem describes nine Byzantine generals who surround a city and they can only take the city if they attack at the same time. The generals can only communicate by sending flaky messengers who can get lost or caught. It is not known if one or more generals are traitors and will send messages to sabotage the loyal generals. There are many different consensus algorithms, but I will focus on the one called RAFT. RAFT stands for Replicated and Fault Tolerant. RAFT does not use time, it uses terms instead. A term is an integer that starts at zero and increments by one every time an election is held. Each term starts with an election represented by the red color. The time for the leader election should be a short fraction of the entire term. A node in the cluster can be in one of three states, follower, candidate or leader. All of the nodes in the cluster start as identical followers that all have the potential to become a leader. Each follower has a random election timeout. To start an election, a follower times out, votes for itself, and sends out a vote request to the other followers. When a follower receives a vote request, it will increment its term. It will vote yes if it has not voted in the current term. Once a candidate has received the majority of the votes, it will become the leader. The leader will send out heartbeats to reset the follower's election timeout. These heartbeats come in intervals decided by the heartbeat timeout of the leader. The leader can also send append entries messages to the followers. These will also count as heartbeats and reset the election timeouts. Now let's imagine that a leader dies. A follower will not receive any heartbeats and therefore its election will time out. It will become a candidate and vote for itself and request votes from the other followers. The leader is the only server that can accept data from the client. Followers will simply redirect to the last leader they heard from. To commit something to the log, the leader proposes append entries to the followers, and once a majority of followers has responded, the leader sends out a commit message. Once a value is on the majority of servers, it is considered committed. This allows the system to tolerate a minority failing, because there will always be an overlap in the majority. 